Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another Amazon favorites. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. You guys know how much I love Amazon. I love sharing products that I find and love. And if you've seen all of my Amazon favorites, which if you have, shout out to you because there are a lot of them on my channel. I will link the playlist down below and then also up in the cards for you if you want to catch up on them. But if you have seen them all, you're in luck today because today's video, I'm sharing all new products that I have never shared on my channel before. So these are all brand new goodies that I have found. There are so many good products. I am also really excited because today's video is sponsored by ShopTagger. You guys know how much I love working with ShopTagger. I have saved so much money. I do 99% of my shopping online. Basically, the only thing I don't buy online is groceries, which even that I could do online if I wanted to, but I buy everything online and ShopTagger is one of those things that if it's not on my computer, I feel like I'm missing out, probably because I am. Anytime there's coupon codes or sales or anything like that, ShopTagger has you covered. I actually was placing an order the other day and I had a specific coupon code and so I put it in that like the company had sent me and ShopTagger said, oh, I don't recognize that coupon code. Do you want to add it and help other people out? So I just clicked add. So now that coupon code is out in the world. So if you're on that specific website, it can help you out and give you a code. So it's kind of like this little community of like a money saving people, just like me and you trying to save money when we're doing all of our shopping. So it is amazing. If you aren't familiar, it is a one click extension on Chrome. All you do is go to the site, click the download button, add the extension onto your browser. And then when you are shopping online, you can just go to any website. And if you see something that you want to track, maybe it's a really cute sweater, but you just don't want to pay full price for it. You can go ahead and save the item into any list that you want. You can create multiple lists for different things, whether it's clothing items you want, your everyday makeup that you know you're going to buy anyway. So you may as well track it and see when it goes on sale or just any other item. Once you find a product you wanna save, just go ahead and click the save button, you add it to the list that you want, and you decide how you want to be notified. You can be notified with any price change or specific percentages off, and then you can also decide if you want to be notified via push notification or you can get an email. It is seriously the most simple thing ever. And then they have a new feature too that if you're shopping online and you go to check out, it'll ask if it wants you to run the coupons that it has and it will test out all of the coupon codes that it has and sometimes it will save you a ton of money. I got 35% off the other day shopping on just a random website. I didn't know that they were having a sale or anything and they had a coupon code on there that I had no idea about and I saved 35%. It's just this magical little internet genie that helps you save money. So if you have not yet, definitely click the link down below and download ShopTagger and start saving money just like me. Let's get into everything I got. I will link everything down below in the bottom bar, including my sweater that's adorable and still in stock. I have a coupon code for it linked down below. And I just want to show you guys this little heart medallion. I just launched it on With Love Sarah and... I'm obsessed with it. This is what it looks like. It's on this little satellite chain and then it does have the two inch chain extender. It is one of my new arrivals and I just cannot get enough of it. I also just launched this bracelet stack. This is the rose bracelet stack. These beads are just the prettiest thing ever. Can't get enough of them. So I think these are perfect for Valentine's Day, but they're also perfect just for any time of the year. There's tons of restocks, tons of new arrivals. I will link the website down below for you. And let the randomness begin. I don't even know where to start because every single thing in this is beyond random. Okay, first we'll start with this. And if there's products that are around my house that are normally somewhere else, I will show you them in their natural habitat. But I also, if it's small, I will show it to you in over here too. This is a little phone display and I have this sitting on my desk in my office. This one is adjustable so you can move it up and then down which is nice and basically I have this loopy case on my phone so it does have a loop sticking out and it still works so it just kind of squishes the loop down 
but basically if I'm sitting at my desk I can just have my phone up like this if I'm watching insta stories or if I just have like a podcast going or something like that so many times I have a million things on my desk that I don't want my phone to be lost in the shuffle and so it's nice to just have it sitting up like that I also have been using it if I'm facetiming my sister or something it's nice to have it just propped up on something and you can do it the other way if you're watching YouTube videos which is also something I do a lot while I'm working so you can do it either way and it does work with my case with the loop on the back of it so definitely a really simple thing that I didn't know how much I needed until I had it and I think it was like seven or eight dollars and it comes in a bunch of colors I had to grab this out of my bag so that I could show it to you this is a little pill container if you're new here I suffer from chronic migraines and headaches and so I don't like to leave the house without medicine which I know is like really really sad but um, I grabbed this little pill case. I don't want to carry an entire bottle of ibuprofen with me everywhere I go. And I've noticed that the little ones, like the travel size ones, a lot of times they don't fit a lot of them and they don't have the kinds of pills that I like. I know I'm being like super picky, but anyway, if you have specific pills that you take or if it's a different medicine or it's vitamins or whatever it is, I think that this is super sleek. It's really easy. It doesn't take up a lot of space and you just twist this. So it kind of secures itself into place and then you just open it up and all of the pills are in there. And it does open up like halfway. I don't want everything to fall out of it, but it kind of opens up halfway so you can fill it or see what's in it without touching all of it and then just close it back up and it's really secure i haven't had anything fall out of it yet this was again like a super cheap affordable thing i throw it in my bag i forget about it and it carries a decent amount i don't even have this completely full and i think i started out with like 20 pills in it so it definitely carries a lot which is nice especially if you're somebody who takes a lot of different medications or if you just take if you want to go on vacation or you need something like that for travel i think this is really great i feel like every single time i do an amazon video i think i can't get more random and then the next amazon video comes up and i realize how much more random i can actually get so these are <laughs> oh, I don't even know what these are called um, multi-purpose cable clip set this is what it looks like as you can see some of them are already taken and basically what you do is you let me just open one more so depending on how many slots it has it'll hold that many cables and it just has like a 3m strip on the back of it so you can Put it on to anywhere i have a couple upstairs on the nightstands one for me and one for adam and so that holds my apple watch charger and my phone charger and it kind of sits onto my nightstand so that every night i'm not picking the cords up off the floor like i normally am i also have a couple of them in my office and they feed like my printer cord a phone charger and my computer charger from the wall up through my desk so that I don't lose my cords they're not unorganized it just kind of like streamlines the process so I had never seen these before and now I don't know what I was doing before like this just makes it so easy it's the simplest thing this would also be really good if you have a phone charger um, by your couch or something you could stick it under a coffee table top so that you had your phone charger handy and the cables do come in and out of them pretty easily they don't get stuck in there like you don't have to put it through you can put it straight up on top which is really nice to get them in and out they're interchangeable you don't have to like go through a lot of work to change out the cords so definitely really like these I I don't know how I even came across them let alone what I was doing before I had them this one is for all of you who love crushed ice I found these little crushed ice ice cube trays <sighs> It's the best. This tumbler is also from Amazon, which I will link it below. I use it almost every single day. I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but um, the I, and I will show you guys what the crushed ice looks like in this. But it just makes teeny tiny ice cubes, and I just love it. <laughs> Who knew you could get so excited about crushed ice cube trays, but I can. So this one came in a pack of three. And what I will say about these is I read the reviews and all of them were saying how hard it is to get the ice cubes out. And a lot of people said that you just pull it and then twist it. I don't think that that really works. What I've noticed is you have to kind of like really push on the back of it 
to get them out but it is not that big of a deal especially because it's so many ice cubes you're not going to expect to just be able to twist it like a normal tray because this is silicone it's not the hard plastic that most ice cube trays are so yeah this is just the best I'm so happy with it. I'm so glad that I got it. And I think that this will be so fun in the summer too. I just got them maybe like right before Christmas, I think. And it'll be so fun when I have fun summer drinks or like lemonade, stuff like that. I just love drinking drinks with crushed ice. Next is this. It is a travel mirror. I bring usually a really large size eyeshadow palette so that I have a nice big mirror that I can kind of prop up in my makeup bag, but it is not convenient 99% of the time. So I saw this on Amazon. It's really nice and padded and it is thin so you can just shove it at the bottom of your suitcase and it doesn't take up a bunch of room, but it comes in a ton of colors too in case you're looking at this like I don't want a pink mirror. Um, so it comes with this really nice large mirror and you can prop it up at different heights. So this height, this, it's not even a height, it's like a slant. So really slanted, medium slanted, or not very slanted, and it folds up really, really easily. This I like because a lot of times if I'm traveling with Adam, I'll shower and then he'll shower. So I'm not getting ready in the like hot, steamy bathroom while he's showering. So I'm out in the living room of the hotel and you just never know what kind of lighting you're gonna have, what the situation is gonna be. Are you sitting like on the bed or are you sitting at the desk? Are you, is the mirror on the window sill? Like where is it? Where's the height? How do you need the mirror to be sitting? So this kind of takes care of that problem and doesn't take up a bunch of space. So if you travel a lot, if you like to do your makeup with daylight in front of the window, this is for you. If you have the Apple AirPods, I just recently grabbed this. It's a little hook keychain that connects to a silicone case. So it just has this hook and then you can choose what color case you want, but it just covers the AirPods. This is good for a couple of reasons. One, it's bright so I know I'm not gonna lose it. A lot of times with the little white case, I noticed that I was kind of blending in with everything because my vanity is white, my desk is white, just a lot of things. It wasn't sticking out to me and a lot of times I was just misplacing them. But also I don't wanna accidentally throw them in the washer or something. And so with this, I can take it off. It's not a regular keychain, it just clips, which is so much easier. So I can put it on and off of my keychain. I just take just my car key and the little um, card that the gym has to scan and then I just clip this onto that so I can just take the minimal amount of things and then I always have my case with me and I am not trying to hold my airpods which I was doing when I first got them just kind of carrying them in so I didn't misplace the case now it's all in one spot and it's super easy to find it's also keeping them a bit more protected and this was crazy affordable so if you have the airpods i feel like this is a good little investment to protect your initial investment next is this lock it is the lock that i have on my locker at the gym and you can just turn the little numbers and you create your own code I, this is such a simple and like not very exciting thing, but I do think that it's necessary if you go to a public gym, you don't want anyone taking your stuff. So it's super simple to use. I like that it has a four digit pin just because four digits is usually pretty easy to remember, especially if it's like a birthday or something like that. Um, so you just open it any normal lock it's also really easy to change the combo on this lock so you can use it if you want to like share it with somebody else but i really like this it was one of those things that i knew i needed i kept putting off buying one and i finally got one and i have not looked back these next two items are kind of like two in one they're sitting on my vanity so first is this set of three pearl headbands. These come in a bunch of different colors, but this is the combo that I chose personally. It has kind of like the rosy mauve, the taupe, and then the cream. And these are so trendy right now, but I didn't wanna buy one of the super expensive ones because I don't wear headbands super often, but it is something that I like to wear once in a while. So I wanted to try the trend out without splurging majorly on it. And I think that these look so cute stacked up on my vanity. And then I also got this little clear acrylic bin. And this I just have all of my scrunchies and kind of like my pearl hair clips and stuff like that in here. This is my specialty stuff. This isn't just my like plain hair ties. Like my Invisibobbles are not in here. These are like the special occasion 
like bows, scrunchies, and stuff like that. And then you can't really see them that much when the headbands are on there, so I just think it looks a lot more uniform. Obviously from the back you can see a lot more of it, but I think it looks much cleaner like this, but I know where all of my specialty hair stuff is in one place, and it can sit on my vanity in a beautiful way. Totally happy with that. This organizer is also from Amazon, so I will link that as well. Next up is something I'm sadly returning, but I still wanted to share it because I think it's amazing and I'm actually going to exchange it, but the one I want is out of stock. So it is this chenille bath mat. You guys, this is the softest thing ever. It is so plush and so soft. And then the back of it has the nice like sticky, but not super sticky fabric. So it will stay in place on a tile floor in a bathroom, but it is so plush to step out on if you're getting out of the shower. Um, I ended up getting one that was way smaller than my current bath mat. I didn't realize that it was. I loved the bright white when I saw it, but then when I put it in my bathroom, my bathroom is much more cream and has like, it just didn't work. So I'm going to replace it for a different shade. I think I'm gonna get the tan and then in the larger size, this is the medium size. So depending on your bathroom, I have a pretty small bathroom. So the mat, there's just one mat that lives in the majority of the bathroom. So I just need to get the bigger size in a different color. And then last but certainly not least is this pair of slippers. These are the softest things ever. They're $17, they do have the rubber soles and they are just, unbelievably soft like I could I wish you could feel how soft and plush these are um, I have seen all the Ugg slippers and all of that and I'm just not willing to invest in a pair of slippers because I I don't know I just don't really see the point when there's super cozy ones for less money but these ones I'm just really impressed with I can't believe how soft they are my only complaint is I wish the brown was a little bit lighter like more tan than this really cognac color they do come in i believe black and gray maybe as well but they are the comfiest things ever and they keep my feet super warm i have a couple other pairs of slippers and they have backs to them so it's nice to have one pair that i can just slip my feet right into instead of making sure the back is on so absolutely love these and i like that they do have the rubber soles just because I don't slip and slide all over the place. Alrighty guys, that is my latest edition of random Amazon favorites. Let me know down below what you're loving from Amazon right now. Have you tried any of these products? Is there something else that I need to try from Amazon? Let me know all the things down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys.